All right, I've had a lot of requests from you guys who wanted to see this Debian-based distribution. This is a new one for me. I've never seen it before. This is called Makulu, and this attempts to make XFCE look modern. We're going to have a look at that right now on Spatry's Cup of Legs. Here it is, this big hippopotamus about to have two children for lunch. Actually, hippopotamus, they're hybervores. With a mouth that big, I think he would think those kids are a little morsel, hey? All right, enough kidding aside, I just launched this. Let's open up top and see how much memory this uses. So what I'm going to do is open up a terminal here, and I'm going to issue the command top. Now, some of you may ask, well, why do I use top to measure memory? Well, this gives you the actual amount of memory that is being used by a given system. Uh, unlike if you were to open up um, a task manager or something, it may give you a, show you a smaller amount. All right, and this is telling me that presently, this is using 379 megs of RAM. Not too shabby. This looks kind of cool. So that is an added plus. So it's uh, using a little bit less memory. And something else of interest, I like the overall look at this. They picked a nice icon theme. You're going to see some transparencies and that sort of thing. Let me show you this. So out of the box, if you have compositing enabled, you're going to see there's a little bit of transparency on the window borders. They also picked out a nice little uh, icon theme for this. And um, I can't rem geez, I can't remember the name of this icon theme, but I know that I downloaded it before I tried it. Personally, not my cup of tea, but I know uh, it is a little bit modern looking. Personally, I think a different color scheme would probably work better for this, but that's okay. At least, you know, they had some good ideas here. Okay, and you'll also see that when I do lift up this uh, whisker menu, you're going to see a nice little brushed metal effect they have going on here with the theming. So, yeah, in essence, yes, they did that. They did attempt to modernize the XFCE desktop, but personally, I think the best way to make XFCE uh, look uh, up to date is by putting on the oxygen theme uh, from KDE onto this, and uh, that'll really make it shine as well. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. This is based on Jesse, which is the Debian testing branch, and uh, everybody knows that Debian is well known for its stability and that sort of thing, so uh, you can get packages, being that it is a testing branch, you can get packages that are up to date for this. But what's even more interesting about this distribution is the packages that they selected. Okay, and before we go into the packages, let me give you a rundown of what you've got here on your panels. You have the time down here on the bottom. Okay, and then down here, this lets you know that your battery is fully charged. Okay, you also have your internet connection here. I know these icons are hard to determine what, you, what it is you have. You also have the Mint Update Manager with this. Okay, this looks like it's giving you the weather, and of course, you can configure this to your locale so that you get the uh, correct information displaying. And then, of course, there's an icon representing that and a volume control. They didn't include a desktop switcher on here, but the thing is, it can easily be added. By right-clicking on your panel and going into Properties here, okay, uh, wrong not going into properties, going into panel and then panel preferences here. And then you can pretty much add anything you want just by going into the item selections here. You can uh, press the plus button and then you can choose a desktop switcher if that's what you want. There's one right here. We can add that. Okay. And presently there is one workspace. We'll close this here. But when we go into the workspace switcher, we can actually if it doesn't allow us to edit this, then we can go into our settings and then we can configure our workspaces here and assign as many of them as necessary. So now we have uh, four workspaces if you wish. Okay, moving right along. You have a quick launch here to the Thunar file manager. Uh, you also have the Chromium web browser installed by default. 
you get the uh, Mikulu Linux terminal. You get the uh, software manager. And this is the Mint software center that they included with this. Let's go into our applications and accessories. You get a bunch of really cool things here. An application finder, a bulk renamer, the calculator, catfish for searching your entire file system. You get a clipboard manager. You get the conky manager. So now you can choose all kinds of really cool conky things to have on your desktop if you wish to have them. You have leaf pad, uh, main menu, which will allow you to edit the menu entries that you have here. So you can actually customize your Wisco menu you to your liking. You get Orish Global Time, which is standard with any XFCE desktop, a sensor viewer, the Thunar File Manager, a USB image writer, and a USB stick formatter. Great for those of you who love distro hopping, you want to, you know, burn images to your USB sticks to boot your computer from. So it's great that they thought of this and included it. But there's even more cool stuff on here. In games, you get Dream Chess, you get a Tetris clone, uh, Simsu, Steam comes preloaded with this. So now you can bring in your entire Steam library and play all of your games on this. And then, of course, you get X Mahjong, which happens to be a really cool game. I love playing Mahjong myself. You get a number of graphics tools in here, and they, they attempt to keep it simple for you. You get Photo XX for managing those photos, LibreOffice Draw, and Pinta, which happens to be a very nice alternative to the GIMP, which may be easier for a lot of you who are coming over to Linux from the Windows world and want to have an image editor that isn't going to be daunting to learn. In Internet, you get the Chromium web browser. You get Deluge for BitTorrent, and it happens to be my personal favorite. You also have the Dropbox utility, great for storing files online. FlareGet, Mozilla Thunderbird for mail. You get Mumble. So any of you guys who want to catch the Zoo Crew, now you have Mumble installed on this thing so you can join in and listen to the show. And who knows, you might be even asked to participate. You get NitroShare, and I've covered this on my show a few times, and NitroShare is a great utility for you newcomers who need to network between all of your computers at home, your Mac, your Windows computer, your Linux computer. You install NitroShare on those machines, and you will easily be able to transfer files back and forth between those machines without having to muck about with Samba. And then, of course, you get a Pigeon Internet Messenger. In multimedia, you get an audio mixer, dead beef, an F, uh, FF multi converter, mini tube, Nero. Yes, the proprietary disk burner. I'll tell you what, when I was running, running Windows, Nero was my favorite disk burner, and it's cool to see that they have this here. How cool is that? All right, you get Radio Trace, so now you can have a little applet in your notification area that'll play your favorite radio stations for you. You get the VLC media player and, of course, Voco Screen, so now you can do screen captures of your entire desktop or just a simple window. Great for creating tutorials or to do a screen capture of an issue you may be having that you could post online somewhere and show somebody, hey, this is the problem I'm having. How do I fix it? Great utility to have, indeed. And then, of course, you get the full LibreOffice suite, a dictionary, and Adobe Reader 9. Apparently, Whoever designed the Sistro loves proprietary software. Personally, I would have gone with Events. It opens up every PDF file I've thrown at it and any other document, but it's good that they've included something like that here. Okay, and other, this is where Wine is listed. And let me tell you what, kids. Makulu has some links on their webpage where you can download a pre-configured Wine install that has everything you need for installing your games and applications. It has .NET Framework installed on it. It has DirectX and many other dependencies. So all you need to do is download this file. It's quite large in file size, though. Extract it in your home directory and then just start loading all of your applications into it. I downloaded this file myself and had an opportunity to look at it, and it looks pretty sound. I'm glad that somebody thought of doing this, so I have a backup copy of this. You don't have to use this on just this Linux distribution. You can use their Wine configuration on any Linux distro. It'll work fine. I tried it on Manharo, and it's nice. Uh, so 
you'll definitely want to go over there and get that. The link is in the show notes uh, for um, Makulu. Just be sure to uh, search at the bottom of the page and you'll find uh, that information. But you ha- do have your wine configuration utility, wine tricks, which come standard with wine. And of course, the wine, when blah, 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 try and say this five times fast, wine windows program loader, wine windows program loader. Okay, got it. All right. And then, of course, all the settings you need to customize this to your liking. It's all listed in here. Accessibility you can adjust the flash player to your liking, your parents, desktop, device drive manager, display, file manager, G-party, keyboard, blah, 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 blah. You get the picture. Everything is all in here. And uh, then, of course, you have your system settings as well. With the inclusion of Bleach Fit, which is Linux's answer to CCleaner or Crap Cleaner for Windows. This will help you clean out those caches and uh, clear out a bunch of unnecessary junk on your computer. You don't want any unnecessary junk on your computer, do you? I didn't think so. I don't either. All right. And then, of course, a bulk renamer. Great for those of you who uh, collect photos and that sort of thing. And you want to categorize them. And you want to be able to name everything, you know, camping trip. 2013, you know, and it'll just rename them all for you. Really cool. I love that utility. Okay, you also get the GW package installer, so if you download a dev file, you just double-click it, GW picks it up, and installs it for you. How cool is that? You get uh, you get the Grub customizer, so you want to put your, uh, you know, put a family uh, photo on your Grub menu, this is the tool that will do it. They thought of everything with this one. So, all in all, I think this looks kind of neat. Uh skip the wallpaper and uh, well yeah I, I think i could theme this a little bit better myself maybe choose some other icons and that sort of thing but this is their vision and for what it is it does look okay just not how i would personally theme it myself all in all this is sound looking distribution i think you should download it try it out and let me know what you think of it mm-hmm. 